Welcome back students. This video covers the important concepts for the course matrices and calculus. I mean M and C. It is not M1 dear students. It is matrices and calculus for R22 regulation under J and U H. In this video, I am going to let you know only the unit 1 and unit 2, whereas unit 5 uh, questions were already posted in my channel. Please go through it. In the next video, I am going to post you the third as well as the fourth unit, the important concepts. I am not going to let you know the problem here. I will let you know the concept accordingly. You need to work out the problems. Uh, define the rank of a matrix and along with an example and also problems related to rank of the matrix and sometimes they'll be asking you to find the value of k if the rank of the matrix is 2 or 3 such type of questions are damn sure in form of short and long echelon form of the matrix example define as well as the problems related to echelon form of the matrix is very important and one short question inverse of the given matrix using elementary row operation is also said to be one of the important question define hermitian and skew hermitian matrix along with an example and symmetric and skew symmetric matrix is said to be the short question prove that the given matrix is orthogonal or not that may be also a short question dear students from unit one you are going to get two questions in form of short i mean the question number one a and b and the long questions are two a b or c d i am going to discuss with you now a b as c d questions now Prove that the given matrix is orthogonal or not. Reducing the matrix of the given matrix, let it be 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 into echelon form and find the rank or the reduce the given matrix into the normal form. Out of these two, you are going to get one question for sure. I did not write the matrix here, dear students. I have mentioned only the size of the matrix and the problems related to non-solution, unique solution and infinite number of solution is also said to be one of the question. You may be getting in A, B, the normal form form or the echelon form and in CD you are going to get non-solution or unique solution or infinite number of solutions for a given problem and non-zero solution or as well as to find the consistency of the matrix may be a C question later the Gauss elimination or Gauss settle iteration method and the problem related to maybe a D question dear students in AB you may be getting the reduced equation I mean the echelon form or the normal form and the consistency or non-zero solution or unique or no, no solution problem and later you are going to get the Gauss elimination and Gauss settle method problem. This may be the cross structure or that may be jumbled sometimes and the short questions will be from this. This is all about the unit 1 dear students. Later the unit 2 the important and one short question I can give you is the short questions as well as the long questions in this uh, a video the Kale clearly Hamilton theorem and the problems related to it may be the third A question in the question paper this time. Prove that the given matrix of size 2 by 2 through by 3 is unitary, may be the short question that may be the C such type of questions. Please do work out even the other problems, whichever it was whichever was important, told by your faculty. Find the sum and product of the given values of the given matrix may be also a short question. Find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors is said to be one of the top and important question that may be in 3B or C D. The number 3 is for the unit 2. So related to eigenvalues, eigenvectors, you may be getting some way here. Show that the given matrix is a skew Hermitian matrix and find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors may be also one of the important question. Show that the given matrix satisfies the characteristic equation, maybe the C equation in the question paper. Diagonalize the given matrix by orthogonal reduction is also said to be very, very important. That may be in C. Reduce the quadratic form of the sum of squares canonical form canonical form may be the topmost question by orthogonal reduction method as well as to find the index rank and signature may be the short question so these are the questions which i have covered from the unit 2 hope you are going to like my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately and also press the bell icon to get a receive a latest notifications on the important questions and the concepts related to btech hope you will do that do not forget to share this uh, waiting for if you're waiting for the fourth and fifth i mean the fifth is already done i'm going to post you the third and fourth in the next video good luck dear students